Before we get into measuring the speed and width of vibrato, uh, we should make it clear how we're going to do that. And um, my method is to use four oscillations per beat uh, using a metronome. And I'll tell you exactly what that means. The oscillations are when the pitch hits the upper side of the note, and that can be most easily explained uh, or illustrated by showing the hand motion going up. So for instance, the upper side is when, say in fourth position, when my hand actually, for purposes of this demonstration, hits the cello. So what we're going to be measuring is the speed right now of the hits on the cello. And uh, the metronome here is set on 60. So it's going to be four hits per beat. which equates to a sound like this. That is a vibrato at 60, as we'll call it. And of course we're going to go up from there because that's a very, very slow vibrato. Most vibratos actually in the really acceptable range are somewhere from between 80 all the way up to about 110. Um, the metronome that we're going to use also is this kind where you can actually divide it into four. So you can, you can actually practice with the metronome you were brought over. This metronome will do another thing, which is a very good thing for a professional musician to have. It will tell you what the tempo is. So if, if I'm listening to something and the beat is going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, I can set it over here, different setting, punch this, one, two, three, four, while listening to the music. And then it will read out what tempo that was. That was 125. So that's the basis upon which we're going to discuss and analyze the vibratos that I showed you on the video. And, uh, and shortly we'll go back to those videos, use the metronome, and we'll figure out what the, what the great ones are doing.